guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is Beauty Fly Beauty and today I wanted to chat about some things that really bother me about the beauty community, YouTube in general, um, makeup in general, and things that really don't bother me at all that a lot of people complain about. And I am very interested to know if you agree with me or disagree, so please let me know down below. Um, and if there's something I didn't mention, definitely tell me because I love talking about this stuff. Okay, so some things that I really do not mind at all. And I wanted to start with this because I'm really trying to grow my channel and um, I mean, I'm not expecting it to happen, but I would just love for that to happen. I love doing YouTube. I love making videos. I do it because I love it. And I did start off doing it because I sent this random iPhone video to my friends um, to do like how to do basic everyday makeup, like a five minute face, something like that. Um, and they were like, you should just do a YouTube channel or whatever. So um, I started being consistent a couple years ago. I'm slowly growing, still loving it. But there's some things about the YouTube community, whether you're a beauty guru, creator, whatever, or you're a chef on YouTube or whatever it is. Um, and that's sponsorships and um, coupon codes and things like that. So I am of the belief that we shouldn't be pushing people to buy things. Um, we live in um, the kind of world where things are kind of pushed upon us to buy, to buy, to buy, to buy more and more and more. Um, and I'm actually an under buyer where like if I have this much toothpaste left, I'm not going to buy another toothpaste until I'm really out, which can become a problem sometimes. Um, and so I'm not the kind of person that could just consumes and collects makeup in particular, though I do love it and I probably have a bigger collection than most. I just really believe that you should only be buying something that you can actually afford, that you are not going in debt for, and making really smart consumer choices. Is this something that I really need? Is this something that's gonna bring me joy? Is this something that um, I may be missing in my collection for whether it's your makeup collection or your home or whatever it is. So I am not someone who pushes to purchase things. However, if I want to purchase things, I love that people have coupon codes. If YouTube is your bread and butter and it is your full time work career, why should you not make money doing that? Isn't that the whole goal? for a career is to make income. So um, if you don't know how people make money through YouTube, um, it's through AdSense, right? The little ads that come up um, in the middle of the videos, which we all hate them. Um, and when you use someone's coupon code, not all the time, but a lot of times they get a kickback on that. I don't care about that. If someone is working their butt off, shouldn't they get an income on that? Um, and so the argument is, well, people are pushing others to buy things. I think you just need to be smart about who you watch. The people I watch have coupon codes, but they don't make you buy it. I also have my own opinion and I'm also a very strong person. So maybe if you're not somebody who is strong and you are very easy, um, easily swayed to purchase things, maybe that's not something that you need to be doing. Um, I just think if you know what you need, what you want, and how to purchase in general, you're not just gonna buy something because someone has a coupon code. So I just see it in a different perspective. Whether my YouTube channel grows or not, whether I ever get a sponsored you know, video or somebody ever sends me PR and free eyeshadow or whatever it is, I'm still gonna be okay with others doing it because that's how they make their money. Like how else are they going to have an income? Like, does that make sense? Um, I think the only thing that really bothers me is if they don't say that it's a sponsored video, right? I think that's really shady or if that's all they do, right? Um, we no longer have like this huge push to buy magazines. I still really love magazines and like paper books and stuff, but this is how brands advertise, whether it's beauty products or rice, I don't know. Um, social media is kind of in the forefront for advertising. So whether we like it or not, it's gonna come at us and we just have to be really smart consumers. Okay, um, I think this goes on both sides of the spectrum. I don't see why 
brands can't just do shades for everybody. And I feel this way about clothing sizes. There's a curvy section in Forever 21. Why can't there just be this beautiful dress from size tiny, tiny, tiny to big, big, big? Like, why can't we just have that? I don't think in the beauty world that it means you have to have 100 shades though. I think you could have six shades of bronzer and have it go from super, super light to super, super dark. So there's this argument that's really expensive and I get that. There's an argument that um, the super, super light shades and super, super dark shades are not always purchased and so people lose money on that. I get that. But there doesn't need to be, again, 80 shades of foundation. You can actually do 20 to 30 shades of foundation and have it actually go the, the whole entire range. And I think that's what I don't understand, whether it's clothing sizes or beauty or whatever, but we are talking about beauty today. Um, and so like, there's a lot of things that I really, really love that have shitty shade ranges and so I try not to recommend those because not everybody can purchase those. Um, I think it's silly that we have to have Rihanna, thank God, but how silly is it that she had to be focused on that? Like why can't it just be that way? Um, so I don't need 80 shades but I don't understand why it just can't be the full shade range. You know what I mean? Okay, some things particular to YouTube. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube. Probably I watch more YouTube than I watch regular television or streaming shows. Okay. Um, <sighs> I have a lot of people that I watch because they purchase a lot of eyeshadow palettes or they review a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I like to see what it looks like on the face. There's, they're not always somebody that I really enjoy for other things. Like I'm subscribed to them because they're on the forefront of always getting these new things and so I can just see it in person. Well, in person, right? Um, but some of these that I am subscribed to <laughs> um, get into my, get under my skin um, with these pet peeves and here's a couple of them. Um, Let's say you want a very, very, very light coverage, CC cream skin tint. A tint, like if we were to use the literal word tint, it, it, it's a very slight coverage thing. Glossier skin tint, people just like hated that. And I think they reformulated it from the beginning. It's a tint, that's what it is. People are like, oh, well, it's not as much as my CC cream because it's not a CC cream. <laughs> It's a tint. I just, I don't understand why people get mad about the labeling of something not equaling what they want it to be. Um, and vice versa. If it's called a skin tint and it's full coverage, I hate that too. Um, so I guess, you know, it, it's on both sides, but when it comes to the actual creators, I've watched a lot of people recently who bought a skin tint and they're like, man, I really wish this had more coverage. Then don't buy a skin tint. Oh my gosh, this one. Um, they literally bought a lip oil and they said, this is just too oily. I don't like the oily feel on my lips. If you don't like an oily feel on your lips, why would you buy a lip oil? And I don't know if that has to do with just the collector mentality, like somebody else hating cool toned eyeshadows on themselves, like hating it, hating it and buying a silver eyeshadow quad because they just have to have the collection. That pisses me off. Lots of reasons. If you're a collector and you just wanna collect the thing, okay, go for it. But don't review it and say, oh, this, I just don't like this. You knew you didn't like it. Why do we purchase things we know we're not gonna like? I don't understand. It's so annoying. I want to throw bricks at my TV. That's how enraged it makes me. If it's labeled something and you want it to be something else, but it's labeled correctly, don't be upset at it, right? If it's a full coverage matte foundation and you're like, man, I really wish I could see my freckles. Like what the crap? You're not gonna see your freckles through a full coverage matte foundation. Like I just, I don't get it. And again, it goes the other direction. If something is labeled a skin tint and it's like medium coverage, I don't understand that either. I don't get it. Um, label things for what they are and purchase things for what they are. You know, I've talked about this a lot and I just can't, I can't. The stripe of highlighter on the cheek 
and the little uh, dot of highlighter on the nose. Okay. Highlighter is to literally pull it to the forefront, right? In art, in theory, that's what it's for. Why would you want the tip of your nose, right? Some people might want to elongate the nose. That's how you do it. Or the line of uh, shimmer or like highlighter here, blend it in. It's an, I just don't get it. I will never get it. It's against all things I've been taught, all in art, in color theory. Makes no sense. Stop it, please. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, the last thing that really, really bothers me, and I have to say, like, I love YouTube. I love beauty creators. I love so much about YouTube in general, not just beauty. Um, but man, these things have just been driving me bananas. And again, this is like the, the newer people I've been subscribed to have kind of brought this out in me. And again, I love them for so many reasons, but this, it, it literally like, I have had to push pause on videos because it annoys me so much. And it's very, very simple thing. Um, and that is just calling everything cute. So, what came out like um a hello kitty collab with ColourPop. that's gonna be cute it's adorable it's small it's shimmery it's bright that's a cute thing it's like calling <sighs> okay but the, okay let me go back let me go back okay but then let's say charlotte tilbury comes out with a new quad it's very sophisticated it's got this um rosy neutral surprise it's got a little shimmer but it's not like a glitter um it's not big flex of it um it's got this heavy gold packaging i wouldn't describe that as cute right when you compare that to the hello kitty um and i know this is so petty but that's not cute. That's lovely. That's sophisticated. That's glamorous. There's other words in the world. I, I don't, I don't have a huge vocabulary. I squish my words together. I, um, I, I get it, but not everything is cute. And this is what I was about to say earlier. It's like calling a little boy with like curly hair, rosy cheeks, cute, adorable. And then calling a tall, dark, and handsome man in a fitted navy suit cute. You wouldn't, you wouldn't call him cute, right? You would call him probably delicious. <laughs> uh, um, handsome, sophisticated. Um, now I just want to see Freddie in a suit. So yeah. Um, just calling everything cute. Get a new freaking word, man. Get a new word. Ugh, ugh, it's just been getting on my nerves. It's been getting on my nerves. Um, yeah, so those are just like little things that have been bothering me about YouTube um, and the beauty world and the community and just makeup in general. Um, something else that I don't really mind is like dupes and copycat stuff. I don't really care. Like not everybody can afford a $60 palette. And if another brand wants to dupe it out, go for it. The everyday consumer can purchase it and try it and play around with makeup. Like I don't give a crap. I just really don't. Nothing is new under the sun. Now, if it's, you know, if it's a brand that's pretending not to be a dupe brand, then it's a little annoying, but like makeup revolution, they're a dupe brand. That's what they do. I don't care. I don't care. Do whatever you're going to do. It makes it easier for other people to try new things, to experiment, um, to dabble in things that they may not have dabbled in before. So like I said, I love the beauty community. I love YouTube. Um, I have talked about my favorite people before. I think it's just very important that you watch um, what you need. So if you are somebody who um, is triggered to buy things that you don't need, then, you know, watch accordingly, watch the right people. Um, yeah, like don't watch someone who only has super dry skin and go buy everything they buy if you have oily skin. You know what I'm saying? Like watch people for smart reasons and, and then you're not going to be pulled in. You know, like I am a 40 year old with um, greasy, sometimes acne prone, little bit of wrinkled skin. 
right? I'm not gonna go out and buy a 20 year old's dry skin recommendations. I have to be smart about that. Um, and so when I watch people like that, it's because they're hilarious or because they, I get to see things in person, right? That I might not have seen before. So anyway, that's what I wanted to rant about today. Let me know down below if you agree with me, if you disagree, if you have um, other opinions, I would love to know. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.